Hi guys. My next task, as you know in the previous video, I put the socket on the wall. My next task will be to sort this spaghetti of cables out. Um, to do that, I think the easiest option I've got is to unplug everything, disconnect all the um, KVM switch cables, and start over. Start from the, you know, from scratch, plugging them all back in, but uh, try and bunch them up in sets. So I'd put all the um, KVM switch cables together. No zip tie them all together and whatnot. And do the same with the audio cables, etc., etc., and the Ethernet cables. Just so they're sort of bunched in order like that. Um, I've got to go down and get my uh, cable ties to do that. So I haven't got them up here. Uh, but before I do that, I may actually have a soak and a nice hot bath. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Uh, then I can crack on and... Ooh, get Spaghetti Junction here sorted out. Oh, so heavy with three PCs on it. Oh, look at that lot. And if I can successfully do that one, then I might successfully do something with the spaghetti that's under here. <laughs> Mind you, I don't really pull this desk out, so that's not really going to be as important or as much of a help as it would be doing this one, because I'm probably going to uh, be changing cables and whatnot. Um, or I could just leave it as it is and shove it back to the wall and just pretend it's not there. <laughs> that might even be an option yet. Um... Well, I can plug, plug power plugs back in. At least. There's a nice breeze when you sit in here. It must be coming from the fans on the PC. Yeah, it's quite noisy because I've got four of those large 5 inch fans on this. But I don't have an overheat problem, so. I'd rather have a noisy PC and not have an overheating problem than have a quiet PC and have a PC that likes to overheat. Oh. I'm going to put... Oh, whoops. Maybe I... Well, I'm just still on a bit of rubbish. I'm oh, good. If you're wondering what that crack was. Put that audio switch back up there. This is power. Plug for that extension socket, so I'll plug that in. I still haven't powered it up yet. And the switch is off anyway, so... Uh, I'm not even sure I'm actually going to have enough power socket, even with these two up here. So I've got... The monitor is one. There'll be another computer, so that'll be four computers. That's five needed alone, that is without the um, Ethernet hub and the external speakers. That's the monitor I've just plugged in. Um, I'm actually thinking I may um, yeah, I think I will actually bunch the cables up as soon as I can. These three power cables here, there's another one I'll plug in here, and just zip tie them together and just have them spur off where they've got to spur off. There's one more, because I've got a feeling I'm just going to end up knocking things off. And so I've got three PCs in here, then this extension socket. One PC over there, that leaves me with two spare. Uh, don't really want to plug any more extension sockets in. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to um, resolve that problem yet, but 
uh, in the meantime, I'm going to set my thinking throne. Because the batteries are going to go in this camera anyway, so I'm going to have to change those. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to sit on this thinking throne because I need to go and use the bathroom. And uh, see if I can come up with a plan. So I'll be back in a little. Well, I'm back, guys. Uh, cable ties. So I suppose I should start uh, cable tying. Actually, before I do that, Plugging cables and uh, basically starting from scratch. Now, I've got an adapter somewhere. Does that come and um, Ah, it does. Right. So I'll take the speakers out of the equation. We'll just smash them on the floor. And then move you, and I'll put a bit of light on as well. There we go. Ooh. We're getting hot, so I'm going to open a window or two. left with a junction of spaghetti. <laughs> right. I'm going to pull the um, switch cables out of the way over here. Okay, I'm going to throw an 
two cables over here. And basically just separate the groups of cables for now. Um, in like the um, KVM switch cables and then do the same thing. That way I can keep track of what I'm doing and I'm not going to um, end up getting tired of knots because I've got all the groups of cables separated. Like so. One more on with all three together. Probably put the zip tie around the right way. Actually, actually, I think that'll do, and I've still got plenty of um, space. Oops, <coughs> Whoa, I'm working up a sweat doing that. Right. I know I've been lazy now because I'm on the on the um chair. Right. I could do that. And that would keep everything a lot tidier. Um, I think I'd have to make a crave of that. Right, well, I want to swap two more cables because I want the long one to go down to. Um, the uh, main computer, so this 
short one could go on to be. I've got two what I'm doing, have you? Because you're not looking at me. There we go. I've just swapped um, these over. Because I want the short one on B and the long one on A. Because I'm going to make the Sony Vio, or Vio, um, computer A on the switch. Like so. Because that's furthest, furthest away, I'm going to use the longest cable. So, there we go. But it is a shame I couldn't just find a way to fix that to there. But, you know, there's, no, there's no hanging screws, there's nothing. It's just got to lay. Right. So, here we go. Here's cable number one. Uh, I think I'm going to go under... Uh, and actually what I'm going to do before I do that is I've got three more power cables. I don't know where I can put you. Let's put you up here. Okay. I've got three more power cables at the other end I'm now going to do. Two low voltage ones and uh up there and, and uh lines. That's a tedious job, but it will make sorting things a bit easier. And it'll just look a bit tidier. Especially if I just keep the cable cables uh, groups together. One more cable, I think we should be there. That. Before I get too far ahead, I'm just going to trim these down. alone. So, yeah, so I've got two bunches of six cables alone. I've got three KVM cables to do. Not a not an easy task. Right, so where's A? This one's A. I'm going to take that underneath. Oh, 
don't blame one for VGI cable. Hang on. There we go. Keyboard and mouse. Right, so that's A. So I want B. Which I'm going to make the dimension. That could be B. to be the best cable management in the world, but cables done. Nearly got the KVM switch cables done. I just need to put a couple more on this. Should have some points put on the desk so I can zip tie the cables to that. But uh, I don't think I've actually got anything to do with that. Right, so I'm going to do these ones now. Back in the switch, and there's less. 
teddy bear flapping around. Here's the uh, keyboard cable. Get that one under those. Good. Get them there. So, next job. Lamp cables. Uh, not the shortest, so I'm going to plug that into this one. Uh, this one. It's actually, really, that's too long. Just stupidly long. Where's the other yellow one? Mm -hmm, so that. for that. So, audio cables plugged back in and I'm done. I'll do is just clear the crap up from down there and give it a vacuum over. Uh, 
and put the desk back. But, uh, I was a bit tired here anyway. Yeah, all I've got to do is uh, pick these bits up off the floor and vacuum that over before I put the desk back. And uh, we're good to go. We'll put the best, put the desk back. I'll put the desk back if I wanted to. The desk back. up and uh, stuff that desk back. camera off and uh, move up here and get the disc back so I'll be back. Well there we go. All nice and cleaned, vacuumed up and along here as well. So I had a vacuum, disc is all back, it's all nice and tidy so I've just got the rest of the room to do. <laughs> um, powered it all up as you can see the indicator light is on. Socket, it should be on. Yep. Um, but um, every last power outlet is full. I don't actually have one spare for another PC. But uh, yep, that's all working fine. As far as I know, I'm going to file one up. Ah, that's why. Got that one connected over there. Automatically come up with the one that's active. Yep. As you can see, B is lit up. If I were to turn the Sony on, then A would light up. Uh, switch for the audio. Switch for the audio is in the right position. So we should get a audio noise. Working fine. I do need to go at Sainsbury's. Again, because at the moment I'm drinking a sort of room temperature flat Coca Cola.
I'm not going to have any internet because I haven't turned the ethernet hub on. There we go. Should be. Let's just make some connection. And we'll just do a quick check to make sure we have internet. Not all the cables are plugged in correctly. Which we do. That's good. That's good. So, we appear to be functioning absolutely fine. I need to find some programs I can install on these. Some programs I can play with. Yeah, the lounge looks worse than it actually is, but it's just a matter of putting a few things back where they're supposed to be. Uh, Uh, a few bits and bobs I need to pick up. I assume Mum is still at the hospital because I haven't heard anything. She hasn't been on Facebook. Right. Not much else I want to do now. Pop those drawers back where they're supposed to be. Have a clean up. Yeah, that's about it. I've done the main task for today. Bloody hell is up the time already. Ten to three. Bloody hell. Time has flown today because I got up at nine this morning. Front camera. No, it's actually still up the right way. How does that work? I like that. Hmm. Doesn't matter which way I turn this camera, that picture stays up the correct way. Nemo! 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 <laughs> Take one of my litter pickers down as well. Uh, I think I'm going to get some of those micro spaghetti bolognese meals again. That was actually pretty good last night. Board I'm getting now. Um, well, at least I know the system works. Right then, I'm going to end the video. So, as always, if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Thanks for watching and. Uh, 
I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.